Hello, and welcome to our confirmation rehearsal video. Because we can't gather in the church to run through everything together, we have put together this video to hopefully help you see what it will look like when you come for your confirmation, to be confident that you know what you will need to do, and to be ready and prepared to receive the Holy Spirit in this new and special way. Right now, I'm standing in the baptismal area at St. Anne Parish because it's important to understand that confirmation is a completion of baptism. There are three sacraments of initiation, and you have already received two, baptism and First Eucharist. Now in confirmation, you will become a full member of the Catholic Church. When you arrive for confirmation, please come around to the front of the building, as we are only using the main doors of the church right now. Here you will find teachers and volunteers and greeters to check you in for contact tracing purposes, as well as this is where we have our accessible parking located if you or any of your guests need the parking or the ramp. As we enter the building, you will see the signage on the doors reminding us of things like wearing our face mask unless we have a medical exemption, following the directions of the ushers at all times, and sanitizing our hands as we enter and exit the building. Coming into the church itself, you will see decals on the floor that help us to maintain six feet of distance as we are moving through the church. You'll also notice that every other pew is blocked off so that there is enough space front to back for those who are seated or standing in the pews. When you come into the church, you'll find that you have a pew assigned with your name and the ushers will help you to find your pew. When you come in, you, the confirmation candidate, should sit on the inside aisle so that whoever is coming and doing the anointing can reach you and so that when you stand, everyone in the church will be able to see you. Your sponsor then should sit right next to you so that they can stand with you and can place their hand on your right shoulder, praying with you and being with you during this special moment. Now that we are in and seated, our liturgy will begin as most of those that we participate in in the church with the opening greeting and prayer. They will be special prayers for confirmation and they are for you. Listen carefully to them. What is the church asking God to give you in this moment? Then we will have our scripture readings. And just before the homily, after the gospel, Father Brian or I will present you to the bishop or the minister for confirmation. We have been journeying with you, studying and praying and learning together with you. And so it is our great privilege to come before the bishop or the minister for confirmation and say that we know you and we know that you are ready for confirmation this evening. After the homily, we will renew our baptismal promises. This year, we've been looking at the Apostles' Creed as a statement of what we as Catholics believe that we believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And during confirmation, we are given the opportunity to renew those promises. Instead of saying the Apostles' Creed as we normally do, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, and so on, we will be asked whether we believe these things in the form of question and answer. And this happened on the day of your baptism as well. Your parents and your godparents, even if you were too young to remember it, were asked these same questions, and they said yes on your behalf. During confirmation, we ask you to say yes to these promises, understanding what they mean, and stating that you yourself believe and that you want to be a witness of Christ. To renew your baptismal promises, you will all stand. The answer to each question is, I do, in a loud, clear voice. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. Then the minister for confirmation will say, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And together we all say, Amen. After the renewal of baptismal promises, we have the laying on of hands. Remember we talked about how the Holy Spirit has been passed on from generation to generation, from Pentecost, when the apostles first received it, right until today. And so the bishop or the other minister for confirmation will hold his hands out over you and pray a special blessing, asking the Holy Spirit to come and be with you. After the laying on of hands, you will each be anointed with sacred chrism oil. This oil is used in baptism, in confirmation, and in ordination. It is made with olive oil and balsam oil. The oil of chrism is a sign of being marked or sealed, set apart as God's beloved children. In confirmation, we become full members of the Catholic Church, and we are sent out to spread the good news. The Holy Spirit comes to us to strengthen us and help us with our everyday tasks. The Spirit also strengthens us to witness to Jesus' death and resurrection, the forgiveness of sins that he offers us, and his desire for us to live forever with him in heaven. If you have been at a confirmation in past years, you will notice that this year looks a little bit different. Rather than you going forward to the bishop and introducing yourself, the minister for confirmation will move down the center aisle stopping at each pew to anoint you. He will be wearing a mask and we ask that you keep yours on as well. When he comes to your pew, please stand with your sponsor. Your sponsor should place their right hand on your right shoulder and you should face the minister for confirmation. He will take a clean new Q-tip, dip it in the oil of chrism and reading your name tag, anoint you on the forehead saying, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. When he moves on to the next person, you may be seated. Here's what this is going to look like. Jeanette has very kindly offered to pretend to be my sponsor while Father Tom goes through the motions of anointing me. I have already been confirmed, cannot be confirmed again, but this is what it will look like. Just to note, you will see that in this clip, Father Tom is not wearing his mask. That is simply because I wanted you to be able to hear what he says but of course, on confirmation itself, the person doing the anointing will be wearing a mask, as we ask that you do, to make sure that we are keeping one another safe. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. After you have all been anointed, we will conclude our celebration of confirmation with the prayers of the faithful, the Our Father, and a special blessing for you, the newly confirmed. In these final days before confirmation, we at the parish want you to know how very excited we are to share this moment with you. You have been studying and praying and preparing for this moment for a very long time with many interruptions. But despite all of this, Despite all the challenges, the moment is finally here. And this is a moment of great joy for you and for us. We are so blessed to be able to share it with you. And we are praying for you in these final days before your confirmation. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen.